thank you for lunch, Teresa. I had no idea I was this hungry. It was no bother, Ethan. Mm. Besides, it was my way of thanking you for the ride back from the cabin. No thanks necessary. No, I had a great time up there, in spite of everything that happened. Well, so did I. And you are a great ski partner, Teresa. You too. It's just too bad about the way things got between Chad and Whitney. I know, it's, it's so strange. I know that they both have feelings for each other. Yeah, you're just not going to admit it anytime soon. I wonder if you're right. About what? That one day they'll both realize that they have feelings for each other. Oh, they definitely will. That's like I said. Sometimes the person you love, the person you're meant to be with for the rest of your life, is right under your nose. You just have to open your eyes to see it. Well, I hope that happens to everyone in the same situation. I think it will. You know, when it comes to love, nothing can keep two people apart who are meant to be together. I feel the same way. Really, Ethan, you don't have to do this. No, I want to do it. I'll do it later. Look, I like to do it. Put it down. No. You. <laughs> it is I! You misunderstand me. What the hell is, uh, is my job? Oh, Luigi. Ah, uh, at your service. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Well, I don't know who I like more, Luigi or Elvis. <laughs> I believe I can answer that for you, little darling. Oh, Elvis, where on earth did you come from? Oh, never mind that, little darling. The important thing is, I'm here. Well, hello. Mm -hmm. Oh, now that wasn't very nice now, was it? This town ain't big enough for the both of us. Oh, we'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What? You give up? Truce. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with you, Teresa. What do you mean? I am having too much fun. <laughs> well, there's no such thing as too much fun. I have never laughed this hard with anyone before. I know what you mean. Mama? Really? I, it, it, was the, it was the soap set. <laughs> Slippery devils. <laughs> but you're okay now, huh? Yes, yeah. Oh, it's a good thing you weren't Luis. <laughs> I would have had a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> and Luis isn't here. Where is he? Your brother went to Paris. Or Sheridan? Yeah, that's why he went. I don't understand. Well, a police fax came in concerning the death of someone in Paris named Jean-Luc. I don't remember the last name. Jean-Luc? Jean-Luc was the same first name as Sheridan's old boyfriend in Paris. Yes, and apparently he was killed by some drug dealers he had some dealings with. And the death occurred around the same time that Sheridan left Paris last summer, so naturally Louise was afraid that if this was, in fact, the same man that Sheridan had been with, that she could be in some trouble. Well, I'm going to try and meet her, make sure she's you okay. Can use the phone in the living room. Thank you. What, Mama? You know what? Mama, we, we, we slipped. I'm not blind, Teresa. Mama, you're taking this the wrong way. No, Teresa, you promised me that you were going to get over Ethan. I thought that you had finally accepted the fact that Ethan is in love with Gwen. I do. They are to be married. I know, Mama, but, but so much has happened. Please, Teresa. But it's not just me. It's Ethan, too. He's giving me signs. He's made me realize that there is still a chance we could end up together. Mama, you don't understand. 
Ethan said you can be with someone, love them, even marry them, but then you can find the person you're supposed to be with. Be realistic, Teresita. It's fate. Fate brings people together, and Ethan believes it can happen too. You only hear what you want to hear. Mama, Ethan also said that you can love someone, and they can be right under your nose, and you wouldn't even know it. And then suddenly, one day, you wake up and you find the person you're supposed to be with. I believe that with all of my heart. I believe that will happen to Ethan and me. Teresa, por favor. Mama, we have fun together. We laugh. We play. He doesn't have that with Gwen. He told me so. I thought that you had come to your senses. I thought that I could stop worrying about you. Mama, you don't have to worry about me. Oh, Teresita, I wish that were so. Really, I do. You have no idea how many things are weighing on my mind these days. Luis is off in Paris because of Sheridan. Your brother Antonio is missing. I have no idea what's happened to your father. So many other problems. This is the last thing that I need. With the Cranes? What? Is something going on with you and, and Mrs. Crane? Something bad? No. You have no reason to get involved with these people. You have no idea what you can get yourself into. But Mama, I love you. We'll fight you, like a tiger, to keep her man. Look how she reacted when she just suspected that you were in love with Ethan. Please, don't. Make any more trouble? I won't. I promise. I am not going to go after Ethan. Fate will decide. Please, enough with the fate, Teresita. Mama, I, I can't fight it anymore. Whenever I, I try to get over Ethan, something always brings us together again, like the cabin. It was fate. I know it, and I know that it will bring us together again. This time, maybe for good. Were you able to reach her? Well, I tried her at the hotel. She wasn't there. She hasn't left me a message. I just hope she's okay. Me too. Well, we'll let you know if we hear from Luis. You know, I'm, I'm sure they're both okay. Of course they are. Oh, uh, Teresa, Gwen left a message. Really? Yeah, we've uh, been invited to a charity event. It's some kind of a wedding show. There's going to be florists, caterers, designers, all showing their latest stuff. Uh, Gwen suggested that maybe you come with me, since you're hoping to plan the wedding. Oh, well, that is true. I figure we go check it out. Uh, you know, see if we can get any new ideas for the wedding, and raise some money for charity in the process. So, what do you say? You game? If well, you want me to go, I'd be happy to. Great. <laughs>